no, no, we'll, we'll just go live. Yeah, okay. we are live now. Okay, great. Good morning, everyone, those who just joined and good morning to each one of you. A warm welcome to all of you and uh, welcome back to another session with me. My name is Ravjot Kaur and today we are going to talk about writing as the topic itself suggests it will be uh, about writing. So yes, as Ankit, uh, you said it correctly. The writing is a bit uh, complex, or I would say it's cumbersome that uh, you do not tend to achieve good in writing. You know why? Because we don't have a habit of uh, writing a lot, or rather we don't have habit of reading a lot. So we should inculcate that habit, and we should inculcate habit of writing good vocabulary words, learning it, and using it in our day-to-day -day life. So that is uh, what missing in our uh, daily routine what do you think definitely handwriting will be an issue if it is not legible it will definitely be an issue so it's better to go for a computer-based test if you think that writing is a problem for you Yeah, Annie, definitely. So we are going to cover each and everything, uh, each and every topic of essay in the uh, upcoming session of mine. We, are, we will definitely cover that. Uh, apart from this, let's stick to today's topic. Uh, today's topic is all about uh, tips for writing essays. So I'm going to talk about that in detail today. All those 10 tips, though there are many, I mean, unlimited tips are there, but the most important 10 tips that you should be aware of, and then, uh, I mean, you should start using them as early as possible to improve your scores of writing. So that that what we are going to talk about. So Charanjit, if you've already applied for pen and paper, then it's fine. I mean, it should be legible. I want all of you to, um, get your writings checked. If you have not enrolled with us, please enroll. I have my upcoming batch uh, on 28th. I'll show you that in a while. So hello everyone, those who are just joining. Today we are going to talk about writing 10 tips of essay writing in detail. So my name is Ravjot Kaur. I'm an IELTS expert at Leap Scholar. I dealt with thousands of students and I have rich experience in dealing with all kinds of students. So I welcome you all. And I want all of you to join in for a four week course that is coming on 28th of July. And that's the reading and writing batch. That is for four weeks. And it has, the timing is 4.30 to 5.30. I'm sure it will suit all of you. And we have uh, recordings available. Those who are working can access the recording. But all the four modules in the mock tests will be there uh, for you. Weekly mock tests will be there. One-on-one -on -one speaking feedback will be provided to you. We have speaking club. We have uh, writings, uh, feedback to give you. Uh, you can submit in for the writing evaluations. And lot many things. We have Grammar Club. You definitely you can download the application and you should access the YouTube channel wherein we create uh, informative videos every day. So please do subscribe the YouTube channel and download the application in your phones. Uh, in order to get 20% discount, so this course is for 249. If you want to get 20% discount, please use this code RKLIVE20 to avail 20% discount. So this course will be for 149 for you. So please join in. I'm sure many of you do face a lot of problem in reading and writing. Then this, is, this uh, course is for you. So join in and practice as much as possible. So I was talking about this te uh, Telegram group as well. It's there in the Telegram. So please download the Telegram. It's really easy to access and you can 
get to know number of things, not only the all the four modules, but we, we do share uh, many, many, many exercises related to grammar, vocabulary, and all those parameters, if you know, uh, that are required in writing and speaking. So please join for daily practice and for speaking practice as well. Apart from this, I was also talking about this application. You can get to see free live classes. Uh, we have master classes happening every now and then. Uh, and all the four uh, modules. Apart from this, we have practice exercises for grammar. I know many students face difficulty in grammar. So please join uh, this. Right? All right. So four week batch is for 119 today. It's, it's available only for today. Okay. So please join in and use the code uh, RKLIVE20 and this will be for 119 only for today. All right. You can see this message in the description box or in the comment section as well. Please check that. All right, so when we're talking about writing, how we can forget parameters and band descriptors, those who must be practicing since long, they will definitely know how important these parameters and band descriptors are. If you are new to this, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to elaborate this. Uh, we also elaborate each and every parameter when we do our sessions uh, in the in the classroom sessions as well but i want you to please go through these parameters every day so that you know what is task response and achievement what is coherence and cohesion what is lexical resource and what is grammatical range and accuracy so it's really important before you start writing you should know how the examiner is going to check your writings right yeah, coffee with Ravjot, ma'am. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Next time I'm going to keep this name. It's, uh, thank you for suggesting. Good morning, everyone. No, there is no change in the band descriptors. Uh, these all are the uh, band descriptors that I, 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 I'm showing you here on the screen. Just go through it. There is no change to it. And every parameter is calculated out of nine bands, then you get the scores overall. Uh, so yes, it's really important. And uh, task two is anyways more the weightage than the task number one. So it's advisable to go through these parameters, not only for task one, for task two as well. Yes. Yeah, uh, it is evaluated in the same way, Sadhya. So whether it's paper-based or computer-based, whether you are an academic student or general student, these parameters will remain same for everyone, for, for everybody. So do not get confused whether you are from academic or you want to take general IELTS, that's perfectly fine. Band descriptors will remain same. If there will be any change in future, we'll definitely communicate this to you through Telegram group or by any other means as well, but you will get the updated information. So as of now, this is it. I want you to go through this. How many of you are aiming for seven and above in writing? I mean, of course, do not tell me that nine on nine. So please give me a realistic figure that your university or college is demanding. For general students, as far as I know, seven bands is required in writing. Eight, triple seven, what they need. So eight in uh, listening, rest you have to have seven bands. So what are your requirements in writing? Yeah that, yeah, that must be the overall score you're talking about, 8 or 8.5. Yeah, okay, 7. Yeah, 7 and above. Yeah, Karan? Okay. Dr. Mansi, 7. Yes. Sushma, 7. 6.5. So even if you are aiming for 6.5, I mean, your university or college needs 6.5, you must aim for 7 and 7.5, right? So what I mean to say is that if you're aiming for, even if you're aiming for 6.5 or 7, I want you to look at the seven band score, the seven band descriptors, seven and eight band descriptor, right? So let me highlight this here. 
this is a seven band descriptor we are looking for so what it says we have to address all the types so what are what are task response and task achievement whatever the question is given to you you have to answer that question you cannot uh, go off topic anywhere in any paragraph in any sentence you cannot go off topic so that's uh, task achievement and response coherence cohesion is all about whatever you writing it should be understandable to the examiner e examiner is going to read it only once will not uh, keep reading your paragraph to understand what you have written no it's not going to happen so please take care of your sentence construction if you're not aware about the tenses you can brush that up if you're not aware about the sentences please brush that up but do not write any wrong answers or uh, which is not easily understandable apart from this cohesive devices are also important when i say cohesive devices i mean to say connectors furthermore moreover uh, and whenever you want to compare anything just do not write only but or and at least use the variety of words as well like however in comparison in contrast so these are the words that i will definitely give you the list of it when you join the uh, course uh, we already we always give the list of uh, this in the study material lexical resources all about vocabulary we are going to talk about uh, it in uh, today's session and uh, last is grammatical range and accuracy it's all about your grammar whatever sentences you're writing should be error free okay that so that's a short description uh, about the parameters you can also look have a look uh, have a detailed look on these uh, parameters so that you can get to know what exactly it is yeah all right so now here is a question for you i want you to give me few of the vocabulary words on the topic i'm going to tell you okay hope everyone is ready yes no maybe yeah rajdeep so connecting one sentence to another that's connectors yeah so just asking are you ready uh, i i have few questions few vocabulary to ask from you definitely jinal will definitely provide that but it, today's session is all about writing so let's concentrate on writing today okay all right so i want you to give me the vocabulary related to education so our topic is education what are the vocabulary words would you like to give me for education i have more though i'll take only two topics today okay yeah knowledge education schooling teamwork punctuality discipline true mentor expertise literacy pupils yeah so when we are talking about education we use a word children don't we adolescent literacy qualification yes peer teachers academic skills knowledge literacy discipline yeah communication skill higher education tertiary as well curriculum or curricula do you know there is a difference between curriculum and curricula social interaction development yes academic linguistic skills true yes it is going to be like this harshita for next uh, two days so today tomorrow and day after i'll be live from 10:30 uh, from 11:30 onwards and it will be all about writing this time cool what about uh, inculcate i used this word when i started the session inculcate what about thesis 
we are going to talk about it when we'll do essay writing. We, we use the word paraphrasing, right? So these are the words you can use, depending on the topic, you can definitely use these vocabulary words. Well done. Well done, everyone. You have so much. Yeah. Okay, great, great. You have so many words to use for this topic. And I'm sure when you write, don't you think that uh, your brain is blocked? You're not able to think further whenever you get any topic, uh, which is of not your interest, right? So we, we all have that uh, kind of thing in our brains. Whenever we get any topic, which is of not our choice, our mind is blocked. We don't, we cannot think anything. I mean, there's no idea in the brain. Inculcate, yes. Great. Plagiarism, great. Co-curricular activities, cool, yeah. Well done, Meenal Singh. So many words. Great. Yeah, assessments. Literature. Great. Well done, everyone. Okay, let's. that's it. It's keep coming, keep coming. Great. You can also check the comment box or the chat box. Because uh, we will learn each other from each other. And there are so many words that you can see in the chat box as well. And I want all of you to use these words. So I was talking about the blockage in the mind. Whenever we see a topic, which is of not our choice, we, uh, we cannot think of anything else. The only thing that you can improve is reading. So I took this topic of education. Now I want you to read this topic from Google, from internet. And I don't want you to read the sample answers, okay? Why, I'll tell you in a while. So just look at the topic and see what are the benefits of education and what are the demerits of education, maybe this way. So you can read any article. I'm not talking about eight or nine band sample responses. I'm talking about the general article or general information on education. And please make a notebook where you can write the vocabulary words that you're learning. And maybe we know the vocabulary words and we are not using in our day-to-day -day life. Please write those words and start using in your day-to-day -day conversation. All right. Okay, let's go to the next step. So when I'm talking about the 10 tips, what are they? What are they? You have to write your version of essay always, always write your version of essay. So why did I say that you are not supposed to read any any eight or nine band sample response from the internet because they're also written by the student. You don't know whether there are errors in it or not. And we don't know whether the site is authentic or not. We don't know whether they, are, they have written all, in all the parameters or they've considered all the parameters or not. So we have to take so many things into consideration. That's why I want you to read general information, general article, and collect the vocabulary words from there, okay? So what I'm asking you to do, read. Reading is the thing, read, read, read. That's the best way of improving your idea generation, your vocabulary, and this way you will be able to score. If you don't have a habit of reading, please start right now from today itself. It will hardly take five minutes of yours, but it will worth it. Yeah, so we are going to start that, Vinod. Uh, that's how you're going to start uh, by taking these 10 tips into the consideration. Yeah, Rajdeep, you have to do it from the internet, okay? If you have any uh, source, you can definitely do that. But I want you to read the general articles from the internet. No books required. You can easily do it. You can easily read it from the internet whenever you have time. Next point is read the questions, rise and understand. Many students they read it and they take it in a wrong way. So they start writing uh, instantly. I don't know why students have 
uh so much why students are in hurry to write the introduction and then the body paragraph then the conclusion why i want you to read the question not only one time two time but i want you to read it three times so one time you just go through what exactly it is second time you read and understand what is the topic about third time you confirm is that the topic i'm thinking about is this the same topic written in the question that's how you're going to start so once you know the question now once you know the meaning of the question now you can underline the key points right so that's the next step but the first step is you read the question thrice and understand the meaning of the question now you will uh, read the question okay let's see with all the problems in the world today i want all of you to concentrate and read the question please with all the problems in the world today spending money on space exploration is a complete waste the money could be better spent on other causes to what extent do you agree or disagree i want you to tell me what are the important words here to underline for me i'll underline the important words i want you to read the question three times understand and then we are going to underline okay problem no i'm not talking about the type of question i am talking about the vocabulary words uh, i'm talking about the key points that i should understand i'm talking about the understanding of the question so please listen to what i'm asking you to do so what is there for me to underline problems okay space exploration well done so we got an idea that if this topic is about space exploration but what about space exploration are they asking about advantages disadvantages are they asking me to write the positive points what is there waste of money yes so with all the problems in the world today spending money so this is about money spending money on space exploration is a complete waste well done everyone great the money could be better spent on other causes so money could be better spent on other causes so what are these other causes we should know and instead of writing other causes repeatedly uh, repeatedly you can mention the names of these causes as well i think it's a good idea to mention and to be uh, particular and be specific about these causes instead of repeating the same word yes we will write our opinion but i am not discussing about the type of question but this is an opinion essay yes you are right simran this is an opinion essay many students are giving me this idea i disagree or i agree but i we are uh, talking about how to understand the question and how to underline the keywords right okay so we understood the uh, question and we underline the keywords as well so since you know the space exploration is a word now i asked you about the vocabulary words of education right so now here vocabulary words related to space exploration should be written whatever you can think of at first place you have to note it down somewhere for computer based students do not think that you will not have any sheets to write any rough work or to do any rough work you'll definitely get the sheets you always get id and the password to type in and to access the uh, any particular module and then you start below the id and the password there is a rough space so that rough space you can use to write these points okay paper based students anyways they will have question paper and the answer sheet so you can definitely write and make pointers as well okay so we have space exploration what are the vocabulary words we can think of related to space exploration and i am quite sure that many students might not know the vocabulary words related to space exploration how many of you don't have any idea what are the vocabulary words should be used here 
just say yes or no we are not doing any competition here i just want to figure it out and i want you to let uh, you should know that uh, how reading is important see so many no's are there well done manpreet i uh, strongly concurred this statement great great so rajat do you think by writing these three vocabulary words you'll be able to write everything i mean will will you be able to get good scores by writing only three vocabulary words overall now see so many nos i can see now here is a task for you those who said no or those even who said yes and you don't have any habit of reading you might be aware about space exploration maybe because you are a science students but uh, those who are still science students and you know the terms related to space exploration i want you to restart reading the uh, topics related to maybe history maybe related to any other field art education environment um, and any other topic right technology travel and tourism could be one of them yeah great well done those who are giving me the vocabulary words but we really need to work hard uh, those who do not have a habit of reading and those who couldn't think about any vocabulary related to this so now the task for you is that you have to read an article or any 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 piece of uh, writing on space exploration and you can easily search that on the free resource that is internet okay i don't want you to read any eight or nine band sample response because you have to write your own version of essay great well done those who are giving me the uh, vocabulary words okay next now what is the next step once we read the question we understood we underlined now we know what is the topic uh, all about and we are not going we are now going to write the vocabulary words so how are we going to plan are we agreeing or are we disagreeing to this to what extent we agree or disagree so whatever the question is whether you want to agree completely you want to disagree completely so that is upon you but now how are you going to plan sometimes the question is very simple that you get confused whether i should agree or i should disagree right first of all do not waste even a second start writing whatever comes to your mind looking at the topic it's about space exploration maybe you can think of sh space shuttles satellites these all kind of vocabulary words you can jot it down once this is done now you can think about the pointers what are the key points so maybe you can make a table or maybe you can uh, write something like this what, what shall i write in agree point what shall i write in disagree point right maybe if you thinking that i should agree uh, because so and so reason but you don't have much points and you are not convinced with those points so just leave that think about disagree maybe you have more points or uh, you think you can explain disagree points in a better way as compared to agree so whatever you uh, think is suitable to you please pick that because examiner is not going to judge you on the ideas uh, you you are writing right examiner is going to give you scores on the basis of your english skills it's international english language testing system right so this is all about your english language and i showed you the four parameters so just think about those parameters and start writing plan and then write planning is really important okay so yes well done well done neha good well done so yes yes so if you think that you would disagree so that's perfectly fine you can write on disagree do not think that if i'll write disagree examiner is going to mark you down that's not going to happen yeah you can write both of them because it says to what extent so whenever you have this question to what extent you can partially agree as well so that's not a problem so we have a detailed session about it in our curriculum uh, in our session plan where we only talk about this opinion essay so this is an opinion essay so we will explain you how it is supposed to be written what is the pattern and will definitely uh, give you some description on that all right once we underline the keywords now it's time for us to plan and then write 
once the planning is done we have written everything so now for planning we don't have to spend much time two to three minutes would be enough in the beginning five minutes you will take maybe but once you start practicing every day it hardly takes two to three minutes of your time to plan provided uh, uh, along with the writing you're reading the articles as well so that you have to include in your uh, daily routine next step once the planning and writing is done so planning is for five minutes maybe writing is for 25 to 30 minutes because now you know what you're going to write now when you will write you will keep writing in flow so that's really important okay planning and then writing then is parameters do not forget parameters once you've written just recall those parameters you know have you uh, adhered to each and every uh, parameter a band descriptor a task achievement okay you have achieved it next is coherence and cohesion have you put connectors have you joined the sentences properly is it understandable or not just think as if this is not the piece that you have written uh this must be you're checking someone so now keeping in mind these parameters i want you to take out the mistakes of yours instead of uh giving as a raw thing to the examiner and he checks your mistakes or he takes out the mistakes and mark you down it's better you take out your mistakes by your own and correct it so for paper, pen and paper based uh, students i want you to write with a pencil because it's easy to erase and to correct yourself right and for computer based students you have to type in so there is no problem for that and you have word count as well on the screen itself next is vocabulary so we already know what the vocabulary when we were planning just see whether you have used good vocabulary words will you be able to get good scores in lexical resource or not so apart from vocabulary thing once you know you have just gone through and you've read your proof read uh, everything now just look at the timing and the word count for computer based students you will have the word count on the screen and the timer running on the screen for paper based students you have to count uh, the words on your own and timer will be there but words you have to count on your own so practice in such a way that you do not have to count uh, when you sitting for the exam rather you should know that as for your handwriting this much should be somewhere around 250 280 or 270 words as for your handwriting so just take care of that next thing is proofread once it is done now it's time for you to revise everything all right and then is submit for evaluation this is when you are practicing okay so i want you to adhere to these steps and submit your writings for evaluation so we at leap scholar what we do students write their writings we give you three writings uh, for uh, for evaluations we take three writings for evaluations now when you are writing any task 1 and 2 together you have to submit to us right so when you submit we get the writing we check it as for the band descriptors so giving band scores you will not learn anything let me tell you this many students do ask please give me the band scores it will not help you at all unless and until someone tells you where you fall short or what are the challenges that you're facing in your writing and what are the things that you should improve in your writing and students lack here as well just because of this sheer negligence students are not able to score good they only are, they only talk about band scores but they do not uh, talk about the description about the parameters because many of them might not know about it so please take care of this and i want you to look at even if your writings are evaluated look at these uh, pointers that are mentioned in for individual band scores the description and the feedback that is given to you please look at it seriously and follow that you will be able to score good in writing students are able to score 7 and above 7.5 even 8 and 8.5 in writings so just take care of these corrections done uh, very ser seriously and improve it okay that is your task our task or my task is to check it to take out the mistakes from your writing but your work is to submit 
and to follow the instructions that are given to you. So these are the 10 tips of writing, of essay writing. I have something for you at the end. So please stay with me uh, till end. Now, these are the 10 steps. Write your version of essay. Do not copy paste anything. Yes, when you're reading the article or even if you think that you want to check how eight or nine band is written, you can definitely check that once or twice. But uh, do not copy paste any sentences. You can look at the vocabulary words that student has used. Maybe the uh, structure of sentences you can use, but do not try to copy paste the sentences. Do not try to copy paste uh, the phrases. Uh, you should understand how it is supposed to be used so uh, that when you write, it looks like your version of writing. Next is reading the question tries and understanding the question properly. Do not start writing without understanding the question. Then underline the keywords, plan first and then write. Follow the parameters that I've already told you. Note what are the vocabulary words and synonyms should be used. So that could be a part of planning as well. Time management and word count, you should not forget this. Revise or proofread and then submit your writing for feedback. So you really need someone to check your writing. If you think your English is good, you're good with grammar, you know vocabulary words, you have a habit of reading, you read newspapers every day, but still you need someone to check your writing and to give you feedback. So, and I believe our courses are at such a reasonable prices that anyone and everyone can afford. So please join us as per the timing and uh, as per your availability, you can definitely check the recordings. Even if you don't have time to, uh, I mean, take classes uh, regularly, but you have recordings to check. So that can be done. And the last but not the least, that's, Keep practicing, practice writing. You should have a habit of practicing. All right, these are the homework tasks for you. I want you to write the introduction in the comment section for this question. The question is about, okay, you tell me, what is this question about? Some people think that studying history is a waste of time, while others think that it is essential to learn. The topic, though I've already highlighted, Yes, Ramandeep, we'll definitely give you, even I have uh, live tomorrow as well. We are going to talk about writing more in detail tomorrow and day after as well. No, there were 10 tips. There were nine tips. Oh, I think I missed seven here. Keep practicing. Take it as the 10th tip then. Keep practicing. So I thought I am increasing these uh, pointers because when I wrote, there were so many tips to uh, tell you about, but then I think I have cut them down and I missed one. So keep practicing. You can take it as a 10th option. So that's also important. That's why I've written it in bold letters. All right, yes, so I was talking about the topic here. So it's about history, historical figures. Great, well done, Sam Shamik. Oh, it's waste of time because uh, it doesn't come anywhere in real life. Okay, great. So uh, now you're talking about, okay, jet stream. So if you're talking about, this is only one point, one reason you're giving. So please plan, what, what do you think? Because we have to discuss both the views and then you're going to give your opinion. So we have to talk about both the opinion. So one way on uh, one hand, some people think that uh, studying history is a waste of time. On the other hand, some people think that it is essential, it's important. So I want you to use good vocabulary words and uh, write a perfect introduction on this. And if you do not have time, I want you to at least, at least what you can do, please write the vocabulary words related to this topic, history. Okay, so it's essential. That's okay. Sonia, I think you will definitely have your points and uh, why do you think like that? So make sure you have good reasons to explain. Being a student, we should have good ideas so that we can uh, put good vocabulary words, put great ideas, and we can elaborate in a well-mannered way. 
All right, these are the two tasks for you as a homework, and I want you to use the comment section to write the answers. So I want you to write introduction for the first one, or you can also write the vocabulary words for the first one. For the next question, I'm giving you a few topics. I want I really want you to write the vocabulary words, and they are these topics are travel and tourism. What uh, vocabulary words can you think of about travel and tourism? What about art? What about crime and technology? Okay, these are the four topics that I want you to think of. Or if you want, you can please go ahead and read and give me the good vocabulary words, like seven and above kind of vocabulary words, and write it in the comment section. All right. So do not forget to like the video. I'm sure this will be informative. Please like the video and please uh, share it to your friends. All right, and uh, another reminder, I would like to give you this course is for 119 only for today. Please join it. That's a four week only for reading and writing batch for 430 to 530, Monday to Friday. And it is starting on 28th July. Please uh, join this uh, and practice. So I'm going to talk about in detail uh, on all these topics. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about that. Uh, infrastructure, yes, you can say that on these on this historical building type. Yes, Deepika, we have uh, early morning batch as well. You can definitely check on the application and you can enroll. Please check that. Application is by the name of I'll spread by Leap Scholar. Please download that. Archives, yes. There are many words, Krunal. When you will read the article, even I had never interest in, uh, I never wanted to read history and historical buildings. But when I read this article on internet, I found various good vocabulary words. So please check that. All right. So you can click on the link and it's there in the comment section. Please join the batch and avail uh, a huge discount on this. And do not forget to download the application for this and like please like the video and uh, just share it and subscribe to the channel because there are more uh, videos coming up apart from this i have another session tomorrow with you all same time so do not forget to join back on the writing section yes bhanu uh, it will be for is it are you talking about this four week course yes great yeah definitely please check it on the application you will have all the details and even uh, the link is already posted in the comments section. Do not forget to do your homework, please. Do it on time as and when you get time. And you have a great day ahead. We'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.